What's going on guys? It is Patrick here and today I'm bringing you yet another video in my top 5 zombie series. In this episode we're going to be covering the top 5 worst guns to pack a punch in Call of Duty Zombies. Now just a couple clarifications, there will be no wonder weapons in this video, no SMR, you all know how I feel about that, and lastly these guns will be judged without the use of double tap just to keep it all even. But anyways guys, if you could leave a like to help me out here that would be great, now let's get into the video. Coming in at number 5 we have the Barrett from Black Ops 2 Zombies. Now there are are actually some people out there that like using this weapon and to those people I ask are you a moron the Barrett is so bad and not only is it bad it's a sniper I mean seriously who pack a punches a sniper yes I'm gonna be honest the Barrett has great damage it's still a body shot on round 17 which or one shot kill with body shot that's pretty impressive but it's a sniper so that's kind of what it's supposed to do now let's look at what it does wrong. The ammo is 49 shots and that's it. Is that even going to get me through one round? Like seriously, come on. Points? Well, I mean, it's a sniper, so I'm not going to get much for that. Uh, let's see, mobility? Well, you're probably going to go down. The Barrett is just is just like a fool's gun that I, I didn't even think people took seriously. I thought it was like something like, ha ha ha, yeah, I'm gonna pack a punch for the lols. But there's actually some people out there that say, no man, the Barrett's awesome, I love, pack, I love it pack a punch. Yeah, you probably love the SMR too, bud. Coming in at number four, we have the PM63 upgraded to the Tokyo Jane or the Tokyo and Jane. What's the deal with these guns? I don't understand it. There, there are two guns you do weld, two socially acceptable guns that you do weld. There is the Mustang and Sally, and the Zap Gun, and that's it. Anything else that you're dual welding, you're just an idiot. This gun is bad for a couple of reasons. Number one, obviously, it's dual weld, so you're not exactly accurate. And really, I think this gun would be a lot better had Buddy just tossed the gun on the left and just used one of them. But, I mean, you know, that's not an option, unfortunately. Now, this gun is extremely, extremely laggy when you shoot it. And not like the Ray Gun laggy, where if you spam it it just goes crazy it's like kind of laggy all the time so it's just bad ammo is pathetic now it's the same as like the mpl and the spectra but this thing's dual weld so just think how fast you go through ammo on this you can't finish round 16 with one of these guns you can't do it you're gonna need like two max ammos and 4500 points to buy more ammo it's bad it's really really bad these guns are weak they're just they're just the worst things ever and i i have no idea why anyone would have the desire to pack a punch them Coming in at number three, no silly, it's not the PPSH, we have the Panzer Shrek. So, the Panzer Shrek is one of those guns that I, it's so bad I don't even hate, it just, it makes me laugh. I could hardly get gameplay for this guy because I, it, it is just so awfully bad. I would either just, I kept downing myself or I would just die because I couldn't defend. So, I'm sorry for that, but listen, hear me out, this thing is very powerful. The Panzer Shrek, it, it's up there, not as powerful as the Law, but it's up there with like the RPG and the Law when pack a punch. It's really powerful, but they're missing one thing in this game, and that's PhD. So you either have to be 400 feet away from the zombies, or it's like insta down. So the Panzer Shrek is fun to use, and it's really powerful, but it is basically the definition of going full retard when you pack a punch this thing. I mean, I, I don't really know what to say. Like, you're gonna see here, yeah, it's freaking awesome. It's built for taking down tanks in the campaign, but it is God's gift to the idiots of the world. So, Panzer Shrek, I love you, but you gotta be on this list, let's be honest. Coming in at number two, we have a shotgun. Surprise, surprise. It's the Synthetic Dozen, also known as the Upgraded S12. Now, you may be looking at this clip thinking, ah, it's not that bad. But I just have a grudge against this weapon. When I first used this, I was like, well, it's not bad. I mean, you know, if I, maybe I pack a punch it, it, get more ammo, be a little bit more powerful, this thing would be pretty awesome. You know what they added? You know what they add to it when you pack a punch it? Little bit of damage and two clips. That's it. My god, this thing is just the the epitome of shit. This thing, it feels like a paintball gun in my hand. I'm surprised the zombies don't start laughing at me when I pull it out and shoot them. They're like, what? That's what you're going to use? This thing, just it just burns through ammo. you know. And at first, you're like, ah, oh, well, you know, I got 60 shots, I think it is. I'm not doing too bad. 
And as you go through it, it's like, oh my god, I only have 28 shots left. What? What happened here? I mean, you get no points for it. It's a shotgun. We all know that. It's weak. It has no ammo. It's it just, it just all around awful. I, 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 this gun, like, it bugs me. Maybe if they put 200 shots in it, 250 shots, maybe buffed it a little bit on the damage. It could have been okay and not made this list, but... I don't know what Treyarch was thinking when they decided to do this, but a shot, a semi-automatic shotgun with 60 shots. Are you kidding me? There once was a gun so bad it gave everyone AIDS. The end. Coming in at number one on our list of top five worst guns to pack a punch, we have the Car 98K. So this is one of those guns that it really is just is just a face palmer. When you pack a punch it, it goes from doing 100 damage, which is I think equivalent to the knife to 200 damage, which is equivalent to two knives. This thing makes me cry. Makes me cry every time it's so bad. And the gameplay you're gonna see here actually shows it in a really good light. But the thing you have to remember, guys, is we're on round 12. On round 12, you're still probably not using pack-a-punched guns, and I'm struggling with a pack-a-punched gun. This gun is so bad, guys. I, you know how I said with the Panzer Shrek, I could hardly get gameplay? With this, I couldn't. I just, I just couldn't get it. It's like I, you pull it out, and it's just insta death. I'd be mowing them down with my PPSH. I'm like, all right, I think I have a moment of peace. Whip it out, die, die every freaking time. I swear to God, I tried for like an hour and a half. This thing is, if you want to hate zombies, just try using this. Try getting to a high round with this. It's a $200 gun. What do you expect? The Kara 98K is by far just the worst, most atrocious thing ever pack-a-punched in the history of Call of Duty Zombies. Maybe a power from the SMR. All right, guys, thank you for watching the video. That's all I got for you today. If you could leave a like to support me, that would be awesome as well. Uh, just let me know what you thought of the video. I really had a lot of fun with this one because I could just absolutely rail on the weapons that I hate. Uh, but if you want to go follow me on Twitter, there's a link down in the description. It is at the Smith Plays. Anyways, guys, have a good day.